In this brief video, we're going to discuss how to evaluate logarithms on your TI graphing calculator. As you can see, we start with log base 10 of 4. First thing to remember is that log base 10 of 4 could also be written as just the log of 4. Right? So if you do not have a base or if there is not a base written here, it is automatically implied that it is always a base of 10. So nothing written is a base of 10. So these are equivalent statements. What you see is that you have a log button right here. That log button is log base 10. So if I were to evaluate log of 4, all I would need to do is hit the log of 4 and then hit enter. And that gives me my value. And so that is evaluate log base 10 of 4, which is 0 0.6021 if we were rounding to four decimal places. Now, that same button has to be used in order for us to evaluate log base 3 of 80. However, this button here is not the log base 3, it's log base 10, as said already. So you need to use your change of base formula. So we're going to rewrite this where you have, what you have instead is the log of 80, now that's a base of 10, divided by the log of 3, which is also a base of 10. Remember, the base goes into the bottom, right? But the top stays in the top, or the, in, the input stays in the top. So now that we have two different problems that have a log base 10, we can calculate those uh, with our calculator doing the following. So you hit the log of 80. That's in the numerator, so make sure you close that parentheses. And then this is a log base 10 of 80. Now we're going to divide by the log of 3. So log of 3, and we close those parentheses. So now when I hit enter, that gives me my answer of 3.9887. That's how you evaluate a non-base 10 or non-base E problem on your graphing calculator. Now some of you may have another option. So in order to check if that pertains to you, if you hit your math button, what that will bring up your math menu, and if you go all the way down, if you go down, you can see that I have this option, which is the log base option. So if you have the log base, that might also be an option in your math menu. Right, so check that, and if you have that, you can use it. Otherwise, you can just do what I did already. But if you do have it, when you go down to it and you select it, you hit enter, you notice that it gives you a nice uh, logarithm with a base format. And so all you would have to do is enter your base into that location in that empty box. You arrow over to the input, which would be 80. And now when you hit enter, it will definitely give us the same thing. So either way, whether you use your log base option or whether you use the change of base menu, or option rather, you'll be able to use your graphing calculator to evaluate any logarithm of any base.